why not? Flying to Stonehill, but I love to swoop up, come down. Yeah, so good. So good. So good. And then Peacekeepers, we're going in blind into Peacekeepers. We don't know what it looks like. We, I know the levels that are there. There are so many things. Here we go. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. I'm going to quickly run through this one because everyone has seen footage of Stone Hell, but nonetheless, I'm going to... Nonetheless, let's do it. Gavin! Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like, like me. me. Uh, sure. Okay. There we go. And up, 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 and away! Alright, hit that. Grab that. Click, 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 click. Step on the dragon. Lindar! When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, trouble Spyro. Spyro. Yeah. Actually, Lindar, you're the reason why we got into all of this. Why? Why did you have to call Nasty Nord ugly? You hurt his feelings, man! Ugly? That does it! Poor guy. I feel bad for him. Yoink. Might as well step on here and get Astor. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. Thing It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! <laughs> And then, no thanks. And down he goes. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. I like making sure I get everything on like the ground level before I get to the escalator level because man, there's so much stuff over in the escalator area. Like Stone Hill, simple level. There is a few gems though that are just persnippity. Bonk. Let's crack this open. Collect all that. Oh, I love you. Wee. Boom. Get that. Thank you very much. Hit that. Thank you very much. I'm just, I'm kind of just charging through Stone Hell because we've all seen Stone Hell, like from the Gamescom build and and such. There's just so much Stone Hell. And by the way, that the myth is broken that there were some people saying, oh, you can't charge the Rams or the uh, uh, or the Shepherds. You totally can. I did it in the original, and I tested it recently too when I was testing when I was recording some footage for a video. Um, Absolutely, you can you can do that. There is no, there's nothing that says that you can't. And also, just for those who confirm, Sparks never t uh, ate another butterfly when he was full at gold health. There was people that were saying, "Yeah, you could." In Spiral One, of course, no, he can't. If you go back in the original, Spiral uh, Sparks doesn't eat additional butterflies when he's at full health. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump. And try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Yeah, buddy. 
Installed. Spyro Reunited Trilogy. All right, so the whole game is installed now, but I'm I'm playing in order. I'm playing it in order because that's how they came out, boy. So that's how I play it. Grab all these things. Grab all the things. Leap. Or not. Leap. And leap. And dang you old hitboxes! Darn you old hitboxes! You and your oldness! Okay, that's all those gems then. I love Oh yeah, that's right. I was just like, I saw something blue. Oh yeah, thank you. I'm coming for you, boy! Yeah, the egg thieves are definitely faster. So they run the same path, but the path, it, it's the same path, but the egg thieves are harder. They're not, like, easier. Or they're not exactly the same. They are definitely... Uh, they seem faster now, w which actually I kind of like because now, because at times, especially in Spyro One, the egg thieves. Are, now those gems are so nice, pretty, and clear. You can see them. Um, the egg thieves originally uh, were actually like, like in uh, Spyro One, are easy. It's two and three when the difficulty starts ramping up on them. Like especially in Spyro Three with the, I remember the. Um, in, uh, I believe it's Icy Peaks where you got the twin, um, egg thieves, and they're just, like, uh, incredibly super fast. Yeah, those are, those ones are really annoying. Alright, I'm missing a few more gems, probably two green ones. That's a green one, and that's a green one. 100%. Now, there's a skill point here, too. Now, let me check here. If we go to Guidebook, Stonehill, uh, skill points. Burn the hidden... Pink tulip. Town Square, all bulls stuck. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to go back to Town Square then. Okay, so each one is... Alright, I see. Okay. So every level... Does every level have a skill point? Or almost every level? So I gotta find a hidden tulip. Now, I saw someone post this somewhere. I remember, I was reading it uh, and I saw it, that the hidden tulip is around, like, the border of Stone Hill. I think. Oh, when you have everything completed, Sparks does a little twirl. He's just like, you don't need me. Hmm. Let me go find it here. I gotta find this here, too. Tulip! Tulip! That is the tulip! Hidden tulip. Hmm, they made these skill points a little bit more difficult, haven't they? This isn't easy peasy lemon squeezy, is it? I can't find the tulip right now. Alright, so I'll have to find that in a later playthrough, but 100% the level. One last walk through just to make sure. The sparks he can't point to me where the tulip is. He can't point it to me, dog. No, he can't. Is that it? Is this it? Yeah, buddy! Found it! Woo! Ha! 
Get him! And it's literally return home, straight ahead. Okay. Off and away we go! Off the toasty! Yeah! All right. I am so happy. Like, I just feel so at home. Toasty.